morning and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark and today I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2010 Honda CRV Limited wagon. Um, we're really blessed at the moment. We've got a lot of cars that are really low Ks for their age and this car's only done 88,000 Ks. So as you can see from the front of the car, presents really well. A couple of minor little touch-ups just uh, from stone chips on the bonnet, which you'd expect for its age, but presents really well. Really like all the chrome running through the grill and everything. And then as we move around to the driver's side of the car, a few things we'll point out. Uh, Colour-coded exterior mirrors with the indicators in the mirrors, factory alloy wheels with basically as new tyres as well. A couple of minor little scuff marks on our alloys here. Um, just minor cosmetic scratches, but we like to highlight that so that you're fully aware of exactly everything about the car. But uh, from a paintwork point of view, as we scan all the way down the driver's side of the car, as you can see, really impressive with the way it presents. And as we get around to the rear part of the car, the tailgate, all of the chrome badging um, with the chrome handle running through the tailgate just gives it that little bit of class. Colour-coded reverse sensors as well high mount stoplight in our tailgate. We've also got the tow bar fitted on this car, which enables us to tow 1.5 tonne. Um, so, you know, certainly uh, handy for just uh, filling that trailer with your, uh, your, your leaves and your garden cuttings to take them to the tip. As we move around to the passenger side of the car now, once again, the consistency continues with the way it presents, really impressive. Uh, once again, a very minor scratch on our front left alloy. Uh, the rear left is as good as gold. Um, if I want to be really particular, I can just detect a minor mark on our front passenger door, but once again, I don't, don't think it's uh, something that we couldn't polish out of the car either. So overall, the only other thing I'll touch on that it is fitted with is uh, aftermarket roof racks. Um, but the overall exterior presentation of the car is outstanding. Moving around to the front of the car now, we'll have a little bit of a chat about the performance and also the economy uh, of the Honda. Powered by a 2.4 litre four-cylinder motor, uh, double overhead cam of course, so it does give us uh, 125 kilowatts of power and uh, 218 newton metres of torque. Uh, still delivering 10 litres combined per 100 k's. So we're going to get in excess of 580 k's to a tank of fuel based on the fact that it has a 54 litre fuel tank. So now we're around at the rear of the Honda, just a simple matter of pushing on the release button there. As you can see, the gas struts take the tailgate straight up out of our way. Fairly good height clearance too, over six foot one. Really good storage area in the back. We've actually highlighted just on the side there that uh, we can fold the second row seats down and actually lift them and tilt up into position. Small strap there just on the side that locks, locks it into position so that it can't actually move if we've stored a lot of extra uh, cargo in the back. Simple matter of just pushing our seat back into position and bringing it back up. As you can see, it's split three rows, so we've got some fairly good flexibility as far as storage goes. And look at the condition as well, which is a really important part of this. Um, the plastic areas hardly scratched at all. Uh, under our cargo area, full size alloy wheel spare, um, basically as new. Also, if we opt to remove the roof racks, we've got all the covers there that just clip into place. Um, so basically, everything about this car so far just is really impressive. So here we are inside the Honda now, and we'll just run through all of the features. More importantly, I've got to say, it presents extremely cleanly, this car. Starting on our driver's armrest, all of our controls for our uh, power windows, and directly up in front of that, our controls for our exterior mirrors, uh, vehicle stability assist there as well. Not sure why manufacturers have a manual button to turn it off, to be quite honest. Uh, moving to the steering wheel now, it is height and reach adjustable. As you can see, we've we'll set ourselves up where we're nice and comfortable. Paying attention to the fact that for a 2010, it's only done 82,000 Ks, good Ks. Um, just up on our right hand side here on the pillar, we've got our controls for our Bluetooth. Um, 
Uh, we'll touch on the airbags early on in the piece as well because we're just near it. Six airbags, so front, side and curtain airbags giving us a four star ANCAP safety rating. Uh, moving to the steering wheel now, we've got all of our controls for our cruise control on our right hand side and our audio controls on our left hand side as well. Coming into the centre section of the car now, our CD player, uh, AM FM stereo of course, and then all our master controls. Directly below that, all of our heating and cooling controls as well. And being a six speed manual, so really enjoyable car to drive. The way Honda set up their gearboxes, how simple is it? Having the gear stick right there at our fingertips. Really comfortable to change gears, considering we've got the inner armrests on this car as well. So, uh, you, you know, I can, I can rest my arm or elbow on the actual armrest and still com comfortably change through the gears. Down below that, uh, we've got a couple of little storage areas there. And then our handbrake um, just here as well. Simple matter of releasing it and it tucks down right out of our way. Cup holders behind that and a small little coin tray there as well. With quite a large storage area in here also. Um, and we do have an auxiliary input there as well, if we can see that. Um, and when that's not in use, just slide the uh, cover closed. As I mentioned, uh, inner armrests as well as the outers on our, on our door trims um, just uh, gives it that little bit of extra class. Uh, we've got a storage area up the top here above our glove box and then our glove box directly below that as well. A little bottle of touch-up paint in there also. Uh, certainly indicates how well the previous owner looked after the car. Having a look at the seats, the door trims, even our carpets to that extent. Factory floor mats throughout in this particular car. And uh, the only other thing I wanted to probably highlight, which is fairly important in any car, is the service history. Um, we'll just... Uh, get to that particular point. As we mentioned, 82,000 Ks. Um, just looking at the service books, I'll go all the way back to day one. Um, so pretty much 10,000, 15,000, 27,000, 49,000, 60,000, right up to the current service at 72,000 Ks. All Honda service and the 80,000 K Honda service as well. So you know that it's been handbook serviced its whole life as well. <coughs> so just in summary, a few important points that we'll just recap on. 2.4 litre four cylinder motor giving us 125 kilowatts of power, 218 newton metres of torque, still delivering us 10 litres combined per 100 k's. Uh, really impressive service history, very low k's for its age and a super impressive car, which you will see after you've watched this video. Give us a call on 9907055 and we'll be able to help you further.